forward. All right, so today we are doing a podcast about Nike and Nike's like para athletes, and they're also their sponsor athletes. Not many people know what para athletes are, so the people that have like no limbs, but they're able to run and still do the same games that like normal athletes are that do in the Olympics and stuff like that. So I'm going to first talk about the the ad the athlete that I've picked for my sponsor athlete that's sponsored by Nike. I decided to pick a uh, Tiger Woods. I picked him because I'm a, I'm a I'm an avid golfer. I'm a big golfer myself, and I've been following him since I was four years old. So he he fit me best. So Tiger Woods signed with Nike in 1966, right after he turned pro. Um, he was one of the mo- he's one of the most well known athlete endorsement partnerships in the sports history because Tiger was one of the only was one of the best African American golfers to ever play the game of golf. Um, Tiger used to play with Nike clubs and gear while he was on tour, but in 2016, Nike closed their equipment business. Tiger Woods well worked well with Nike and Nike Golf. Tiger was part of a Nike Golf ad in which he juggles the ball with his club for almost 25 seconds before popping it up and hitting it down the practice range. That is actually hard. Um, in 1966, Tiger signed his first golf contract with Nike for $40 million over five years. And Later on, and Tiger, the uh, another fact that people don't know, but Tiger was made more of his money from like endorsements and um, sponsorships than he's made on tour, and he's been playing since he's been playing over thirty years on tour. Um, Nike gained around two hundred twenty-two million point five million dollars in brand equity from Woods on camera exposure during the last round of the Masters, where spectators could see the Nike swoosh on his on Tiger's shirt, his hat. And his um pants and shoes. Like I said earlier, he's made 68 million off endorsements alone from Nike being his sponsor throughout his life. Um, and then then we we decided to do some para athletes and the, the ones with the, the disability or just has like no legs. So I decided to do um Rudy Garcia Tolson. Rudy is um Born on was born was born on September 14th, 1988 in Bloomington, California. Um, one of his quotes he always says was, I love the, to lead by example. My mission is to show people the real disability in life. And it's a real disability in life is a negative attitude. When Rudy was eight years old, he told himself he would swim in the 2004 Paralympic Games. He was true to his word and won the gold in the 200 meter individual medley and broke the world record for his SM7 class. In 2008, Beijing Paralympi- Paralympics, Rudy was, Rudy was 20 years old and won the gold in the 200-meter individual medley event. He also won a bronze medal in a 100-meter breaststroke SB7 in the Beijing Paralympics. In 2009, at the Ironman in Arizona, he became the first double above knee amputee to complete a full Ironman triath- triathlon. And people know what um, Ironmans are biking, swimming, um, running. And it's like biking, swimming, running, and something else. But it's another another famous quote from Mr. Uh, Tolson. It's, it's important for me to be the role model for a new generation so they can know they won't feel, ba- feel held back by any limitations that are placed on them. That's awesome. I like that one. And then following Tolson's success at Ironman's in Arizona, he was nominated for an ESPY award in 2010. And then one of his last um, uh, quotes he has on his website is, a brave heart is a powerful weapon. And I feel like with him, he's a, he's a powerful weapon with no legs, but winning these amazing events and ma- winning them from the U.S. and going, or, I mean, just with no legs and all that is just, that's crazy, but... Next, um, I think Will, you're gonna talk about your sponsor. Yeah, that? yeah. So for this um Nike um campaign highlighting our sponsored athletes, um, the first person I chose is Eliud Kipchoge. He's a Nike sponsored distance runner. Um, he's the first, and I think only person who's ever ran a marathon in under two hours, and um, the uh, Nike sponsorship and contract with Kipchoge um they designed the Alpha Fly 2 
shoes for him to run the Berlin Marathon in where he broke the two hour limit. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> a lot of people consider him to be one of the greatest runners and athletes of all time. He's a Kenyan distance runner and he's been sponsored by Nike for nearly 20 years. Um, but his most notable sort of collaborations and projects with Nike have happened within the last five years um, with their Vaporfly shoe technology that they um, sort of created together. And uh, so, yeah, he's one of the uh, wealthiest or one of the has one of the biggest Nike contracts and has made some of the most amount of money of any um, Nike athletes from the shoes that they've designed as well as just like his crazy athletic accomplishments and um, then for our um, para athletes um, Nike's a major uh, partner with the challenged athletes foundation um, they've been providing equipment and funding for para triathletes and Paralympic runners for years and um they created the Soul Shoe, which is the officially sponsored shoe for use with the Flex Run prosthetic blades that um, athletes who have had legs amputated used to run with. Um, so Sarah Reinertsen is a Nike-sponsored paratriathlete. Um, she's competed in many Ironman events, as well as the Amazing Race. And uh, she was born with a bone growth deficiency in her left leg and uh, that was amputated above the knee when she was seven and despite these setbacks she's had a very um, successful and lucrative running and triathlon career and uh, Nike's been the official sponsor of the Paralympic triathlon team since um, the triathlon's introduction to the games in Rio 2016. Um, shortly after the Boston Marathon bombing Nike also hosted um, events that helped fund uh funded help for the competitors who had lost limbs in the attack as well as brought together the community of para athlete runners to empower one another and um then just one other sort of notable nike sponsorship for para athletes recently is um they're sponsoring a julian bajada who's a maltese para athlete rower and he's um, attempting to do 28 kilometers of indoor rowing to raise um, $28,000 to help develop and train Malta's first Paralympic rowing team. And Nike is uh, sponsoring this um, effort. And uh, so they've really just sort of been working on um, highlighting their para, para athletes in recent years, and they don't show no signs of slowing down. So. Thank you. Right, that's awesome. Yeah. I think your uh your audio. Yeah. It might be muted. Okay. All right. Could you guys see me all right? Yep. Yeah. All good. Okay, the athlete that I chose to be the late great Kobe Bryant. Um, the reason why I chose Kobe Bryant is because he's really one of the hugest he was one of the hugest faces for Nike. Um Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant joined Nike in 2003 at the age of 17. After his, he had a shoe deal with Adidas, which we all know Adidas is not like our client Nike. And the first Kobe shoe debuted in 2006. So about three years after he had actually signed with Nike, he got his first signature shoe, which would be the Kobe Zoom 1. And the reason why the Kobe Zoom 1s were famous is because he wore them in moments like when he dropped 81 on Toronto which 81 for an NBA player was huge. It's still huge at this time. Not many people have hit that mark. Um, a lot of people don't know. Everyone thought that the whole deal with Kobe Bryant, especially after he's died, was like very great and they were very solid. That actually wasn't the case. Um, the family had decided to part ways with Nike because they were upset with things around there wasn't enough shoes for like children. There wasn't enough restock of the shoes. So everyone wants to buy the shoe unless you were one of the elites, you couldn't get it. And the family wasn't uh, happy with that at all. So they decided to part ways around 2020. Actually this year, we finally got to a, a decent deal with the family to bring back the shoes. And everyone knows Kobe was the epitome of just do it. Oh, if you want to go out and score 81, just do it. You want to go score 100, just do it. We've seen moments like his last game 
of the season where he goes out. I don't think any player has put up 61 points on their last game. Yeah, he took a lot of shots, but that is the whole Nike motto. Just do it. So don't stop shooting. Don't stop letting it be known that you are going to be a shooter. And so also for my my para-athlete, I cho chose Blake Leeper just because he's one of the first Paralympians to get a Nike underwear deal, which is huge. You got a guy who was born with no legs to be in an underwear commercial. That changed the whole scene for Nike and how – they viewed everything in Nike. We're not one to shy away from, you know, the, the things that are different. We're one to embrace the things that are different. Again, our whole biggest campaign is just do it. So Blake Leeper, he is, he's a, a Nike Paralympian. He has two Paralympian medals, uh, one silver, one bronze. In 2012 Paralympics Games, he got a silver in the 400 meter a bronze in the 200 meter and fifth in a hundred meter. So he's placing top all over the place. Uh, his most recent gold was four in the four by one. And he got, um, they, they came first place in the, he got a silver in the 200 meter. He got a gold in the four by one relay. So just all over, he's just breaking barriers for Nike. And that's the reason why we decided to get him in a, a, a underwear campaign just to break barriers, just to show that we are different. We plan to be different and we will be different. So yep. that's all. Awesome. Got. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys uh, hope to our viewers watching. I hope you guys enjoy the podcast about Nike and the sponsor athletes that we all chose. And then also the para athletes, because we're throughout these para athletes. And then, I mean, I, I just like that we, how we talk about para athletes also because it, para, it shows these people that no one knows and no one cares about or no one, would search up so it's cool that we actually in, inform people about these new athletes that we're gonna learn more about but awesome right yeah cool, cool, cool thanks for listening everybody thanks for tuning in to our podcast we are